Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Design Centric SimCity. Um, in this episode, we're going to be doing a few um, quick fixes and adjustments to our tourist and culture city. Um, before I get started, I want to I want to show you guys something because I got a lot of comments about uh, me not connecting the tunnels properly, and uh, I was I was pretty sure that I fixed those because uh, I accidentally bulldoze. I remember bulldozing this part in this tunnel and uh, reconnecting it, but a lot of you commented that I didn't. So I'm gonna show you all the three tunnels that we have in the city and how are they are connected. And this is like exactly how I left the city. I didn't really touch it. So this tunnel is connected on this side. As you can see, the traffic is flowing. It's also connected on this side. Then this second tunnel is connected here and here properly. And the third tunnel is this one, which is also connected, even though it has a tree growing inside of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are the three tunnels. I didn't touch them. They're, they're exactly as they were in the previous episode. So um, I might be wrong. I mean, am I missing a tunnel? Uh, if I am, please do let me know. But uh, everything seems to be working OK. Um, Let's see. So in this episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some adjustments because uh, our Thrilland Adventure Park is not uh, doing so well. So I kind of want to draw attention from the city to this uh, to this area. I have some commercial development here that uh, apparently is doing pretty good in general. The Dutch windmill is also not uh, doing very well. And uh, one of the users uh, commented that maybe it would be a good idea to move the gambling house uh, where the commercial area is, which uh, and, and replace it down here with the maybe the Roman casino, uh, which I think is a is a great idea. Um, my only concern is that uh, oh, so much people here. Uh, my only concern is that uh, we have some crime because there's graffiti's. Graffiti's graffiti is a bad. Do we have graffiti everywhere else? Haven't checked, please. Um, my only concern is that it's not gonna fit. I think it will, but uh, can we plop another one or do I need to bulldoze? Oh, we can plop another, oh, there we go, huh. Let's see. So if we move this right here, maybe, let's just uh, shut it down for now. Let's see if we can expand it. Uh, this attracts tourists and this adds uh, lodging so and this one also usually has uh, medium wealth so we want uh, do we want low wealth in the in the park just to know how to properly target this uh, this casino uh, right now we have uh, room for low wealth Lodgers, 120, low wealth, yeah. So, it seems to be working pretty well. They want to target this one, medium wealth. This is low wealth and medium wealth. Uh, or actually, it may be a mix of the two terrain to steep, so I'm guessing no. What about, uh, can we do two floors, maybe? Come on, come on, come on. Well, I guess that's it. That we'll have to do. So, uh, we want uh, medium wealth. Oh man, we have no room for things here. It hates me. Right? Yeah, I can't plop anything. Um, what if I move this just slightly over here? Maybe that would do the trick. Let's try that. We have plenty of money to build casinos all night long. Uh, let's see, can we fit uh, something now? Not really, no. Hmm. So, okay. Let's move, let's move, uh, I'm sorry. Let's move it back to the previous spot. Just, just so you know, I'm recovering from like a really bad week. I had uh, some health issues. Nothing too serious, but it was just not pleasant and I'm still recovering right now so I might not sound very you know enthusiastic <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do my best for for you guys to enjoy this uh, 
and not be super painful to watch. Uh, I think this was this, this is gonna work. How are we doing today? We're still in the red. We made a profit yesterday, but not not a whole lot. Um, so let's. So this casino is now working. Maybe I can bulldoze this one now. Let's take a look at the Roma Casino real quick, which is uh, this one. It attracts... This one is a lot more expensive. This one is a new one. It's kind of ugly, but... Uh, but hey, casinos are ugly in general. At least in my opinion. Um, there are some exceptions, uh, especially in Vegas. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, let's turn. Let's bulldoze this one and build a room casino. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? I think this is a good spot. There we go. Why didn't you like me? What's the land value map? Okay. I have some red. Uh, red faces here. Oh, uh, probably because I bulldozed the casino before. Um, another thing that I wanted to check before doing anything else is crime. We have a ton of crime and this is probably not uh, very good coverage. So I'm going to replace this with the large police station in this episode. Not right now. I want to get this done. Let's do some expansion here. This attracts 600 and 600. Yeah, let's do this. And uh, medium wealth, medium wealth, ground floor, penthouse, and uh, back rat room. This attracts high wealth. Oh, we can put it there. Perfect. And high wealth series attractive per day. Huh, this is kind of cool. High wealth attracted. Promise. Sure, why not? I love how this coffee shop is just like in the middle of the casino area. But hey, it works. Hopefully. So let's speed things up because we are not going to see a lot of progress. If not, is this casino working? It, I, it is working, perfect. So another thing that I wanted to do is um, that someone also suggested this uh, in the comments uh, for the previous video. Um, this, uh, how are we doing here? Okay, um, I think we can use this uh, avenue for a street streetcar network that can uh, move Sims from down here from the city to the Park? Okay, the park is, is, is making a profit, even though it's going to close in a couple hours. But, uh, yeah. What about this one? Has some tourists, some lodgers. Uh, kind of sucks that I can't expand it more. Maybe if I get rid of the windmill, I can, might be able to put it here. At least one of the extensions, I don't know. Um... So yeah, a streetcar, uh, so I kind of need to put the terminal first. I don't know if I can fit that, because the, the city is already pretty packed. So first of all, I need to convert the road to streetcar. Let's convert this to, and maybe we can fit it here. Yeah. Oh, well, we can add garages, unfortunately, which is, is sort of a problem have no room for this. <laughs> I mean, without bulldozing things, we don't have a lot of room. This is a bridge, so I can't really... Let's convert this whole area to streetcars because I just figured out where to loop this around. Just like 
so. Wait, did I do? Okay, yeah. There we go. Let's see, where can we fit this now? Okay, we can fit it here. Just gonna look a bit weird, but uh, I think it will work for now. This things, this weird glitches that it does. I don't know, man. But it should work fine. How many? How many do we have? Street cards seven. Oh, let's just add all of them because why not? Look how much money we're making. It's crazy. Uh, do we want to sign? Uh, yeah, we do want to sign. Sorry about that. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, it's working. Now we need stops. Man, I should have done that before. No street car stops. I know, I know. That's why I'm like, yeah. So wait. I always get confused uh, about what kind of uh, class of sim uses, uh, you know, street cars. But uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, so. One in front of this thing, one here, and one there. So we have some stops. Perfect. Very st st stra Oh man, I can't even can't even talk today. Strategic strategically placed. Uh, so one over there, and uh, we're gonna have one. Uh, just one here that sort of covers. Let me rotate this. Let's see, this sort of covers both of them. Let's see if that works. Okay, this made made zero money. Oh, okay, but it just opened. So hopefully we'll make some money. What about you? Still not making a lot of money. Where are my street cars? Come on, man. Let's, let's look at the map real quick. Okay, they're they're over here. It's taking a bit long to get to this spot. Okay, they're coming up. There we go. Zero riders. That's unfortunate. How is this casino doing? Losing money. Okay, this is just the first day. We'll get better in time. Another thing that I wanted to do is extend our um, airship uh, coverage. Because right now, is this abandoned? Okay. Do we have more abandoned buildings? Oh, yeah, we do have some abandoned buildings. Um, the coverage, um, it's based only on this city, on Twain. But uh, I think uh, we can place another airship hangar here and here just to, you know, ship more uh, or bring more people in, especially for, for jobs as well, because um, we will uh, we will indeed need uh, more sims. Let's look at the jobs real quick. Yeah, we have a lot of available jobs. Unless, unless we start increasing some of the density in this area, maybe we can increase density here. That probably would be a crazy idea. Uh, let's do high density, all, all these streets. Only those. I don't think we need uh, high density here. Let's just see how this works, how this sort of develops. And uh, yeah, high density. Density. Uh, yeah, this little piece too. Why not? Not this piece right here. So hopefully that would uh, bring more uh, Sims in. Uh, yesterday you made uh, somewhat of a profit, which uh, I think I think this park can make a lot more money. Gotta be honest with you. But at least it's in the green. This one is also in the green. 
Uh, it, uh, it's probably not gonna make uh, 30 grand like the other one, like the one we had before, but uh, yeah, we're already making a lot more money than, than yesterday, that's for sure. And uh, let's see, how are these things doing? This is doing fine. This one's doing fine too. This one, fine too, that's good. This one, it's losing money, but not a whole lot. Today's almost over, and in yesterday lost 41,000. Today only 5,000, which is a lot less. Dutch windmill, still losing money. And that's unfortunate too. Well, this one made some money. Okay. So, I am going to do the airship hangars, but before doing that, let me get some uh, proper police coverage here because crime is getting a bit uh, out of uh, reach. Zero crimes committed per day. Huh, so it's not that bad. I'm just, I just don't like seeing like this orange spots. And also our jails are like nearly full. Yeah, I know, I know. This one is uh, 1700 an hour and this one is costing 1900 an hour. So maybe, yeah, let's just plop this one somewhere. Uh, let's see. One this somewhere where you can, uh, I, I mean, two things, expand. I think this would be a good spot. Expand and uh, oh, we'll get rid of all that, huh? Sure, let's just pop it here. Let's get some police cars, some jail cells. Uh, we want a helipad, sure. And the dispatch tower, yeah, this one's cool. And a sign, of course we want a sign. That's the whole point of having a police station. If you don't have a sign, why why do you even have a police station for? Okay, this one working already? Great. Bye. And now all the criminals are released. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> that is crazy. Committed crime, returning home. I love that. Committing crime, returning home. Oh man, this is insane. Where are all these guys going? Let's see. Oh, nope. Wrong view. One criminals. They're all going to this houses. Are they driving? No, they're just walking. It's a weird turn that they're doing. They could have just gone this way. Wow, so many criminals in this area. Okay. Let's see. So, um let's uh so that now, now that that's uh taken care of, I think we can sell in this area. Oh, we have some water issues. That is no good. It's not that is not good. There we go. All clean up and nice. Uh, let's see, what's the problem with water? We can't buy any more water from our neighboring cities, huh? Uh, I think we can expand uh, the water pump from here. Uh, so yeah, let's 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 go ahead and do that. Uh, this one already has an airship, so let's go to the region and. Uh, dive into this city and uh, fix uh, put an airship and and get more water for the for the region all right so we're back at the city of Elm Grove which apparently is nighttime it took us a whole day to drive from this city to the city but thanks to the magic of television, or YouTube television, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, are these filtration pumps? Yeah, we don't need filtration pumps. The water here is super clean. Just want the normal pumps. So we can fit more and less space. Let's see, let's put one of those, one of those. 
one of those. And that's it, limits reached. So, so now we have more capacity. Let's speed things up. Uh, this should be fine for now. I mean, we can also plump put another water pump here. So we can extend it to that side. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So we need a lot of water. Especially for that nuclear plant. Which, in fact, is going to trade water from this city to, um, to get rid of this uh, mess that I have here that I keep promising to bulldoze over and over again. And I haven't done it yet. So uh, I want to make sure that uh, we're buying in AF power from Twain. Let's see. Let's go to power, buy power. They can sell me 75 megawatts. And right now we are using, uh, how much are we using? It doesn't tell me, needed 150 megawatts. Also, we're producing in excess, thanks to these wind uh, power plant. So maybe I can, uh, what is this tunnel here? Why did I do this? I think I can zone this area, just do a neighborhood. In fact, maybe I can... Uh, I don't know if we're ready to get rid of this because we need to add more uh, reactors to the nuclear plant. Even though now we should have plenty of water to surf that. Let's see, how are we doing sewage-wise? I think we can add more, more of these, just... There we go, just to be safe. This will also feed water into the water table, so that should be fine. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah. And uh, ground pollution, nothing. Perfect. Let's see. So, airship hangar. Let's look at the land value, because this is mostly for rich sims, which uh, we do not have... In this city, we don't have a lot of uh, rich neighborhoods. In, in fact, we don't have a single rich neighborhood. So, hmm, let's see, maybe we can uh, convert one of these neighborhoods into high wealth. Probably this by the coast, so we have plenty of room for the air airship hangar. It's also close to the train station, uh, which I don't know if that would make a difference or not, but uh, this is commercial, right? Yeah, this is all commercial. Um. <laughs> Uh, I think I want a different position. Let's take a look at the airship hangar real quick. I want to know how big this is. It's going to take a lot of space. A whole lot of space. If I put this here, it won't grow. Anything will grow in the surrounding areas. What about here? I'm killing everything if I do things like that. Uh, this is kind of far away. This one uh, could work. It's just not close to anything. This one also could work, but there's not no neighborhoods nearby. Hmm, this is gonna be a bit more tricky than I thought it would. But not to worry, we'll figure something out. I think this is probably the best spot. Just has a lot of residential around it that we can easily convert to uh, high wealth. So yeah, done. And also we want the commuter airship, and uh, this is used by provides transportation for medium and high wealth workers and shoppers. Okay, so we want uh, to put this in an area that has yeah probably. Probably here, I think it would be a good spot. And in fact, I think I want to add uh, some uh, high wealth parks in here just to have a zone of like mini mansions. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, I like this formal parks more. So, bam, one here. Can I even 
Maybe you can extend it back. Oh yeah, I can totally do that. All right, so this is gonna turn into mansions. Hopefully. Undesirables about. Let's see, let's put some uh, larger parks. Yeah, I think this one works. Let's take a look at land value. All right, now this is a bigger area. Okay, this is good enough. And now we need to add a, um, where's the airship hangar? Yeah, well, it just killed my entire, oh man. Okay, let's get rid of this and put, um, yeah, this sculpture thing is gonna work fine. Let's just have it like that. Can I extend it with like a little park? Perfect. Do the same thing here. Go away. Let's get a nice little parking here. If it's centered with the roads, even better. Let's put the same park on the other side so everything is nice and symmetrical and perfect. Just the way I like it and just the way I know most of you like it too, so. Don't you dare criticize my OCD, <laughs> if there is such a thing. All right, so this whole area is now high wealth. Uh, I think I wanna extend it a bit more, maybe add like a big park here. Maybe a thinner one. Yeah, and I think I can extend this. Bam, there you go. So now we have, uh, these people can just walk out of their parking lot and just hang out in the park by the airship hangar, which is a terrible eyesore, but I guess it works. So we have a public library. Maybe we could use another park here. Let's go formal. I like this ones that have a bit of water in them. Can we extend? Do we have room for to extend this? Uh, fortunately, no, we do not. Uh, so I, want, I want a bit more. Like, I want this whole area to be high wealth. Somehow, let's see, can we fit another one? Somewhere around, like, yeah, let's just surround this public library we got some coverage here so this is uh, oh this is commercial I see and this is gonna be high wealth now okay I think this should be fine speed things up let's show, let me show you the city how it's looking I want to let let it grow just uh, to so everything in the region gets updated based on this new population. Let's see, we have plenty of jobs here. Maybe we should kill some of the jobs because there's just too much. We have a lot of big factories. So let's, uh, let's get rid of some of the factories. It's probably not a terrible idea. There we go. Factories are gone. How many jobs? Wait, do we have more jobs now? Oh yeah, because there's a lot of construction happening. That makes sense. These people don't like to work anyway, so shouldn't be too terrible. They do like to gamble, so hopefully they will take the commuter, 306 a day. Let's see. Did it just bounce against this thing and like took off? And now it's like going somewhere? Huh. Where are you going? <laughs> that is crazy. What about this? 333 residents, it's the same thing. Average wait, 30 minutes. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, we have some bus stops. That sort of kills the mood. 
for these guys. Goodbye. Where else do we have a bus stop? Uh, I kind of need this for the train station. Yeah, I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm going to kill this. There we go. Uh, that should stay like that. Where else? This is just normal park. So many water pumps. What's our pumping situation right now? Okay. 11, 1100 in excess. That's great. That is perfect. Okay, so let's finish these two buildings. Grow. They're out. These are high land value. Oh, not really. This is still medium. Hmm. Community college is doing pretty well. Have more bus stops that are like ruining my highland value. Let's see. Buses have one here. Yeah, this two and this weird thing. I guess that, sh that should do. All right, let's uh, let's move to this other city, Riverbend, and uh, let's put an airship there. Airship hangar there. Hello, welcome to Riverbend. It's also nighttime. And uh, let's see. Okay, airship hangar. I don't think, uh, I think we do have, yeah, a neighborhood in this corner that is, whoops, that's not what I wanted to click on that it's a, a bit uh, high wealth. So maybe, let's see, where can I, I'm, I'm in the wrong menus here. Uh, planes, airship hangar, it's such a big building. There's not a lot of room to place these. Hmm. Wow, seriously, this three spots in the entire city? Wow, that is insane. Let's see, can I... Well, I guess it will, this will have to do. Man, I don't want to kill all this development just for the airship hangar. That kind of sucks. Um, what about here? It's not room here. See, yeah, he wants me to kill everything. Did I really plan that, this city that bad? Well, I have room here. Maybe that's kind of far away from everything. So, you know what? Let's just pop it here. Oh, my game froze. What happened? Oh, I just took a screenshot. Uh, let's see. Let's extend this with the commuter thingy. The commuter, let's, let me read this again. Floats, work in zero cities. Uh, blah, blah, blah. is at uh, highway traffic, provides transportation for medium high wealth, requires airship hangar and commuter. Uh, so this one I want it to be in like a really dense area. So maybe it wouldn't be the worst idea in the world to have it somewhere around here. But uh, I don't want to kill all these buildings in the process of doing so. Uh, if I put it here, I'd only kill one building. But this, yeah, the problem is that this is all one land value. There we go. Oh, okay, it doesn't want me to. I want to see land value. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, so this is uh, medium and high wealth. So maybe I could just put it here. Uh, what about here? I don't kill a whole lot of buildings. Well, yeah, I do anyways. This one is tough. This one's really tough. Oh, I don't want to put this right here next to this. Yeah, I 
definitely want this in a dense neighborhood. But at the same time, uh, you know what? Let's just put it here. Let's just find a good spot. This roundabout. Uh, I, I killed two fillers here. Sure, why not? We'll see how this works. It's nice just to be in the roundabout entering the city and seeing the sapling just like taking off. I guess we'll see. Uh, maybe you can increase the density of this road. That's probably not a terrible idea either. Uh, medium density, medium density. Save this bad boys. I wanna be bigger now. Land Valley was definitely affected by by this. Let's see if I can extend this without I have a uh, polywall. Oh, I don't have polywall. Oh, really? Come on. You can totally fit in that spot. Okay, I'll just put a tennis court. And maybe I can extend the tennis court polywall now. No, same deal. This is my sports center. I have three tennis courts and two basketball courts. Well, hopefully this would help with the whole situation in terms of flying more people into the city. Because this one, I mean, this one is already having a lot of uh, tourists moving uh, workers here and there. We have plenty of jobs in this city anyways, but uh, yeah. All right, let's get back to to our casino city and uh, see if the thing with the water resolved and uh, if we can fly more people in. All right, welcome back to White Water Crossing. And uh, let's speed things up. So water shouldn't be a problem anymore. We're buying from the region. There's plenty of water. Let's take a look at the transportation map. Wow, it's crazy. It's crazy transportation map. Even though the buses are all following each other, like they used to be in the old SimCity games. And the old version of SimCity. Um, buses are doing pretty good. Let's look at streetcars. There isn't a lot of demand for streetcars. It's not riding that many people. I think we definitely need more population in this city. Abandoned buildings, not enough freight shipments. Uh, I thought they fixed that because we have plenty of uh, freight options in the region. I don't want to have industry here. We need freight now. I know. Uh, what can I do? I can't do anything. Just figure it out. If someone knows, please do let me know. I think uh, there should be... This is high wealth. So there should be high-tech um, production here that can ship freight to this part. If I'm not mistaken, this big factory should take care of it. But uh, apparently they, they don't, so I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, so we have some tall buildings here. These are all... We need what? Freight to operate. We're making a lot of profit, making a lot of sales, a lot of profit. We definitely need more people, more than jobs, so I'm gonna unzone all of this. I'm sorry guys. You have to be residential now. Because I say so. 
No, seriously, because we need more. More people living here. Wow, this building is neat. I've never seen this building before. It looks kind of nice. I mean, compared to this weird building, it looks nice. How is Bullets doing? 190 jails. That's pretty good. This one is 5,000 an hour. Wow, we're like going bankrupt right now. Our park is making money. This little casino is making a little bit of money. This casino made some money yesterday, but it's not making a whole lot of money now. I don't know if this helps or not. This is a medium wealth situation, so we better get some parks in here and upgrade uh, what's around them. Maybe you can extend it. Yeah. You know what? Let's just do symmetric. Because I can. So, yeah, we have some high wealth now. And definitely medium wealth here. This is all going to get upgraded. There we go. That's exactly what I was talking about. And um, this bad boy still losing money. It's tough, it's tough to get people up here. We're only making 10 grand a day, which is not that bad, but it certainly is not the best. I thought I told you to go away. Is this commercial too? Yeah, this is all commercial. I don't care, this is all gonna be residential now. Not enough freight producers. I know. This is all commercial, commercial. This is not going to be commercial anymore. This is now going to be... No, not against the avenue, please. Thank you. Oh, there's a park here. Go away, park. Go. Hopefully that will spring some upwards development. Abandoned house. I haven't seen this many homeless in a while in my cities. It's a lot of traffic in this area. Look at this. We'll need to take a new job. A lot of people on foot too. But I want them to go up here. Why don't you like this place? One rider a day? Seriously? This is kind of crazy. Wow, this is insane. Look at all the traffic here. Let me slow it down just so you can see how many cars there are and buses. Many kinds. There's a lot of street cars going up. They just loop around, I guess. That's strange. I have an idea. Since this is not making a lot of money, I want to move the casino over. Just to see if I can... This casino is already making money, but... Just want to see if I can move it over and take advantage of this spot. And have... Uh... So, here. And then extending this. Oh, uh, really? You're not gonna let me do things? Oh, you bastard. Oh, okay, at least I can fit some, uh, some rooms. So, yeah, equal parts. 
At least I have some capacity now. This is the ugliest casino in the world. But <laughs> maybe this will this quick change will do. And uh yeah, let's put back the the Dutch windmill. Do we need like uh do people jaywalk to this area? Maybe we need like inter intersection somewhere. Uh, that's not what I want to click, sorry. Uh, maybe... I don't know, this? Wow. I noticed that uh, after one of the latest updates, the game got really glitchy in terms of graphics. This didn't, uh, didn't happen before. Which is uh, kind of unfortunate that it's happening right now. Uh, let's see, maybe we can have another type of road that will... That wouldn't be as glitchy. Like, look at this. Like, people are dying if they drive through this, like, guillotine. But this at least looks better. Just want to see. I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm just just want to see if this helps people cross the street and get into the streetcar. I don't know if that even matters. Guess not. All right, let's get rid of it. How's this doing? Okay, we're now 600, uh, 6,000 up. In total, we're making a monthly transaction of uh, 200. Yeah, this flag trades a lot. But we're in the green, which is good. And we have some crazy expenses. Like, we have this thing that is uh, 700 with it have this thing that is 5,000 uh, which is insane it's insane amount of uh, police coverage but we can pay for it look now we're 11,000 an hour and still some of our buildings I'm sorry some of our buildings are in the red so I don't know they were doing pretty good overall We don't have a whole lot of uh, gambling capacity here, but uh, we do have a lot of lodgers, and hopefully that will translate into more visitors towards the park. I would like to know exactly which of these attractions are making more money. So maybe I should move this here. That makes only sense. Most people are coming from down here, so should be on their way not because it's right here they're not gonna see it let's see maybe I should tweak more things like that <laughs> hey look at this pizza joint it's just floating there up in the air wow all these people are just sitting in the ground Yeah, all these are making money anyways. Uh, maybe I want to move the toys one. And just put a... Uh, one of these uh, here instead. Yeah. Okay, so this one is making a profit, and it's pretty early. I think it's gonna break the 10,000 a day that we're making. As long as all these buildings are profitable, look at this. This is now profitable too. I think it just needed time. Uh, this didn't change a whole lot, which is unfortunate. We do have more people living in the city, which is great. What about uh, growth here? Why is this not... Oh, their happiness is like terrible. They need parks. So, let's uh, give them parks. Can I put a park here? Is that even a small one? Yeah, I can totally put a small one. Let's see. Maybe one of these. Sure. Can I extend this somehow? Oh, I can totally extend it. Let's put a barbecue grill and some of these weird uh, pieces. Just like so. This is kind of a mess, but 
looks nice. I mean, Alyssa is hugged by the cliff. So, and also the low wolf parks kind of blend in with the ground. So that's, uh, that's always good. So yeah, I'm quite happy with the results so far. And let's see, so this, this should be growing pretty fast. Look, we made 21,000. So we're definitely improving something. I'm not just shining the dark here. We need to uh, be better at this number at the end of this day. Uh, let's look at one more day and then I'm gonna pull it apart. In the meantime, let's take a look at, uh, at pretty much everything. So right now, this one made 42,000 yesterday. This one made 45 a day, which is good. What about this Roman thing? 72, insane, that's great. What about this one? 41, this one is pretty successful. Why would that be? Probably because he has the train station in front of it. Uh, this one yesterday made uh, 3,500. Uh, this one is pretty costly too. Uh, this didn't make any money and lost 21. Uh, it's just a school. Let's see, do we have any more abandoned buildings? I don't think we do. Also, all of our homeless are pretty much gone except for this lonely guy. You are the last homeless. Come, come here. Don't go anywhere. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. He found a, he found a house. Good for him. So yeah, the city is definitely improving. I mean, this yeah, this number fluctuates, so I wouldn't worry too much. They're not freight shipments. I'm sorry. I might need to take care of that in a future episode. Probably not on this one. And uh, I, w I definitely want some growth here, which I don't think we're gonna see by the end of this day, but uh, let's see, the doors are opening a few moments. Oh, I think we can easily bid this uh, uh, daily profit that we did yesterday. Yeah, this is gonna be a piece of cake. This one is losing money already, but uh, it will get better. I'm pretty sure of it. So yeah. I'm excited about the city. Uh, definitely the great works would help. So in the next episode, I'm, I'm definitely gonna start at great works and I'm definitely going to start with the other city. This was mostly uh, a polish here, polish there kind of uh, episode. Uh, I don't know if you like those kinds of episodes, uh, but if you do, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't, you know, give it a thumbs down. And also, uh, you can also leave a comment and say why you don't like it or did like it. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch and Facebook because um, I've been doing a lot of streaming lately. Uh, and not just SimCity, other games as well, like uh, Open Open uh, Open Transport Tycoon, and uh, even SimCity 4. I haven't played SimCity 4 in a while. Maybe I should go back to that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the end of this episode. I'm gonna keep bulldozing all this weird commercial buildings. In fact, before I go, I convert all these into residential just because we need more residential. So, what else? Yeah, this is all gonna be residential. I don't care. Residential is good. There used to be a, um, the boss terminal here, so commercial made sense. But now, this is commercial and this is residential. I think it works better. In fact, I don't think we need this. Wait, no, not that, sorry. There we go. There we go. This is all gonna be residential now. Why? Because I say so. And on that note, yes, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.